I don't know about you, but anytime I pick up my laptop, my phone or my tablet, Google Chrome is always my default browser. But every time I step away from that desktop version, I always think that I'm missing something. And I am because I miss my Chrome extensions so much when I'm using my phone or the tablet. The mobile version of Chrome doesn't support extensions, so I just lose everything I'm used to when I switch over from the desktop version. So it is a little bit frustrating. And I know that there are other Android browsers out there that do support extensions, but I'm not about that fight. Firefox life. It's, it's not for me. But Google is working on getting these extensions working on Chrome for Android. And I know people have been wanting this for a long time. In fact, I've been wanting this for as long as I can remember. Last year, we ran a story that went over the fact that Google was working on a special desktop version of Chrome for Android with that extension support. But these really annoyingly don't intend to come to Android phones or tablets. But thankfully, we don't have to wait for the official support from Google to get extensions working on your phone or your tablet because we found a way to get it working. And it only takes five minutes. So if you actually want to get this working yourself, check the description below because there'll be a link that takes you to the Android Authority website that will walk you through the steps to getting this going. And trust me, it's worth the five minutes. So to get this working, you need to run a special build of Chrome, which is called Chromium. And you might have heard of it before, but it's just the open source version of Google Chrome and you can see the extension web page that I have here because I've got a couple downloaded and working. So things like Dark Reader and Keeper, but there's loads more that you can get as well. Now, this is working thanks to a special version of Chrome built for future laptops that might run Android or even future Chromebooks. And you can get this working on your phone and your tablet. But if you are going to go and get it working, I would suggest doing it on a tablet because it just works much better on there. Now, back in April, when we first showed this actually working, it was a bit annoying because what you had to do was a lot of manual work. Well, not a lot, but you had to do a lot more manual work than you do now because what you had to do is go and download those CRX files and then drag them manually into the extensions web page. And it just took a little bit of effort. But now you don't need to do that using Chromium because you can download the extensions natively. All you have to do inside that Chromium browser is go to chromewebstore.google.com and search for your extensions exactly like you would do on a laptop. And let me show you Keeper working here because I love love Keeper. So you just search it, install it, and then I would say refresh the browser just to make sure it is working. And then when you go to amazon.com or .co.uk, you'll see that Keeper button right underneath the web page. So you can track the price of all the items that you see on Amazon. It works pretty much exactly the same as it does on the desktop and gives you the exact same data as you would get on your Chrome browser extension through the desktop version. You can search for any extension and get it working on Chromium. Like you can have VPNs, which I think is really useful. All the extensions that you use day to day on your desktop version of Chrome, you can get here on Chromium and they work pretty well. I mean, you might lose a feature or two here and there, but besides that, this is fantastic. Something to note though, is that if you use this Chromium browser, then you don't have Google Account Sync and some other Chrome exclusive features. So I don't recommend that you ditch your regular Chrome version for Chromium just yet. I did mention that you should probably do this on a tablet rather than a phone. And mostly the reason for that is that if you do it on your phone, you can't actually download those extensions directly from the browser where on a tablet, you can just go to the normal extensions store and you can download them right there. Annoyingly though, Google actually isn't planning on bringing extension support to phones or tablets officially. So for now, this might be the only way that you can do it on a Chrome browser. Although you can just download a handful of other browsers that do have extension support. But let me know, is this something that you would want official support for on your phone or your tablet? I'd love it. I think it would be great, but I just don't really see Google ever doing this. But maybe if we ask enough, they maybe might kind of bring it officially. But anyway, let me know in the comments before you head off, why not subscribe to the Android Authority channel? And if you do that, then I'll see you in the next video.